In search of their second Big South victory of the season, the Stony Brook football team traveled to VMI in Lexington, Virginia to take on the Key Dets on Saturday, October 22nd. And in the first half, it was the Stony Brook defense that was the story. Watch as the VMI offensive line just gets overpowered and Andrew Nelson picks up the sack. Later in the first quarter, again, the Seawolves with pressure on the quarterback. This time it's Roosevelt Kirk with the sack. But the D was not done yet. This time it's Junior Salas around the edge. Brings down the quarterback for a third time. Late in the second quarter now, the offense finally gets going. Here's Kyle Lessington hooking up with Matt Brevy over the middle. Drags tacklers inside the five and goes out of bounds at the two-yard line. And then three plays later, Essington with a sweet play fake, rolls out of the pocket, beats the defender to the edge, and scampers in for the one-yard touchdown to give Stony Brook a 7-0 lead that they would take into the locker room on the road. In the second half, the Seawolves offense shifts into another gear. Here's Essington connecting with Jordan Gush down the sideline. Then check out this block by Miguel Maisonette right there, gives Essington enough time in the pocket to float it to Kevin Norell into the end zone for the touchdown, 31 yards to give the Seawolves a 14-0 lead. Ensuing drive now, Essington going to fake the give to Brock Jakulski, floats this one to Gush yet again, makes the grab and goes out of bounds. And then two plays later, Jakulski takes the give and runs it in from seven yards out to put Stony Brook up 21 to nothing. Fourth quarter now, Stony Brook ahead 28-7 when Essington drops back and works the sidelines yet again, finds Norell for 23, and then Essington going to roll to his right, look to the end zone, and finds Gush again, somehow manages to get one foot in bounds, and that puts Stony Brook up 35-7. Seawolves had one more explosive play left in the tank. Here is Miguel Mazinet. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. 60 yards down the sideline gives Stony Brook a 42-7 advantage. They would go on to win 42-14. Stony Brook has now won four straight games and will face Coastal Carolina at Laval Stadium on October 29th at 4 p.m.